There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You so, so sort of put a mask on your face and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself and fear comes in maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're worried about what people think of you what people say about you just that fear paralyzes you and i just want to ask you today do you think you have hope every time you hit a low place don't those voices come back up again every time things go wrong don't those voices come back you start saying to yourself i'm a mess up i'm a failure i'd be better off not being here we just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking you have never changed your belief and you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head what i've learned is that i have to start talking to myself i'm like rich you're great you can do this rich you can handle this rich this is not a big deal you're amazing rich this too shall pass the predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny you ought to look at every negative situation in your house and say you are a liar Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're gonna have a nervous breakdown, you're gonna lose your mind, you're gonna die like your mama did, you're gonna get sick like your daddy did. You gotta talk back to those voices and say, hey, you lied on me, I'm better than this. Every voice that said you'll never be nothing, you gotta call it out, you're a liar. Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Despair is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it, you ought to call out every liar. You need to abort every voice that said you can't do it, you can't have it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll never survive. Abort that thing. Push it out! You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got some ideas, some dream that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again and say, I've got to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, when you feel that inner negative conversation saying you can't do it just say it it's possible other people have done it then we can do it we fail a lot of times well a lot of other folks fail and eventually they came back and they succeeded so it's possible we can have what we want and it's necessary we get negative do nothing people out of our lives it's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves it's necessary that we never give up whatever we have to what do is the common it's denominator worth failure. It. why are you failing you never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. It's Congress. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in. I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. 
take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. You push back. You need to get obsessed. You got to get relentless. You got to be a road dog. You got to get intense. You got to have a permeating attitude that you're going to win. You got to have a positive outlook. You got to be optimistic. You got to know you're going to win. You got to, right now, you got to say, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. My life is going to win. There's going to be a victorious life here. Because listen to me, the price you pay for losing here is too extreme. You have to carry the burden of failure the rest of your life. As we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. Something you should affirm to yourself every day. Repeat this, please. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. Takes guts. You've got to dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible and you are the determining factor. They say an alligator is so ferocious it'll kill a lion. But I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. How? You kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? I need you to stay focused, why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? It is never finished. You always have more to do. Another mission, another task, another goal. So don't be finished. Be starting. Be alert. Be ready. Be attacking. Be relentless. Let the enemy stop. Let the enemy rest. Let the enemy finish. You don't finish. Don't stop. Don't rest. Not until the enemy is completely destroyed. I got to stay hungry. I try to keep it humble. I walk around. I don't even want people to know who I am. Why? Because I still want to have that dog. I still need to stay hungry. And when you got pride, it gets in the way of you being hungry. And you need that hunger. But y'all ain't got no dog on motor. You get tired quick. You do a couple of hours, you tired. Man, you gotta have that dog. You gotta take that personal. Every single year, your appetite should go up. You should never get settled. You should never get content. Every single year, I wanna be successful. I wanna execute. I wanna make all my dreams become a reality. So my appetite increases. It gets stronger every year. I want more. I wanna do more. I wanna help more. Every year I wanna be bolder. I wanna be better. I wanna be stronger every single year. All men are created equal. Some work harder. Some get up at 2.30 in the morning. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't surrender. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. True champions get hungrier every time they win. They don't reach a peak. They don't reach a pinnacle. Winners dominate losers. Legends dominate winners. 
and your mentality on this earth should be that you want to dominate winners. Legends feel fulfilled and happy because they do what they have to do to be the best there ever was at whatever it is that you do. Just winning is not enough. You're not maximizing your potential. You're not becoming who the f you could become. But dominating people who are winning, that's something that'll leave you a fucking legacy. You can, it, you can achieve it. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. This is something that you hear a lot of. And I get it. I get it because if you're going to do something, you got to believe in what you're doing. That's true. But guess what? Belief by itself doesn't get you anything. You got to impose your will, you got to be disciplined, and you got to make things happen. And so I love the process. I love it. I love working for what I want. I love the sacrifice. I love the dedication. I love the commitment. I love that. Everybody wants the prize. Nobody wants the process. Everybody wants to be a diamond. Nobody is willing to get cut. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Nobody wants to die. If you could fix procrastination, what would your life be like? That's why you can't blow up. You ain't got enough discipline to discipline you. But the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. Every day, we are choosing that's not in our own best interest. So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, then you will stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Now those of you in this room, you play it. You're still giving 50%. You're still giving 70%. Look, quit that job. If you're going to go every day and get that job 70%, quit that job. So if you're not finding that motivation that you want, forget about it. Instead, impose some daily discipline in your life. And start today. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning. But winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. So if you're a winner, you ain't comfortable. Every day I get up and give everything I got to everything I'm a part of simply because this is who I am. Like the only thing I need every day of my life is 86,400 seconds. That's it. Like I don't need some reward. Like the only thing I need is breath in my body and I'm flat out going, get it. You're not in here to get an achievement. You're in here to pay your fucking dues so later in life you never wonder what if. We just erase that out of the equation. We're putting the work in now, so we never wonder what if. Not run by the clock. Run by our desire where we want to go tomorrow. Because the more energy you give, the more that life can express through you, can create through you. We don't know when God's going to take us out of here, so every day has got to be the best day. Every day we got to go get it. Every day we got to work out. This could be the last day, and because it could be the last day, we can't live it like we used to live it. Too many of you in this room, you act like you're going to be 200, 300. You are running out of time. Act like it. You know what separates the winners from the losers in this world? The difference is that winners are honest with themselves about the effort that they put in. They don't blame anything but themselves when they don't get the result they're after. Instead, they recognize their own lack of effort, they take responsibility for it, and they fix the f***ing issue. Only you can hold yourself back from getting what you want. Not your parents, not your teachers, not your circumstances. You are in control. Every single day is a win or a loss. Did you do what you needed to do today? Because that's all that matters. There is no magic. There is no luck. It's one day at a time, one win at a time, until you make winning who the f*** you are. Life is a war. And there are people out there and there are things out there that are trying to take you down. Things are going to go wrong. And when things go wrong, it's pretty easy just to say, you know what, I'm going to stand down or I'm going to give up. And you can do that. But I think, no, by fire. Don't fail the test. Don't give in 
don't quit. Don't ever quit. Fight on. Fight through the storm. Fight through the pain and come out the other side stronger and tougher and better. A fighter. A survivor. A winner. Victorious. And free from that storm. Free from the darkness. Free. Life can be hard. But you know what? It's the one life you've got. So go and live a life that in the end allows you to look back and say, Hell yes, I do it all again.